So how does the cell take an electrical signal, the action potential, and translate it into a chemical signal? There's quite a bit of molecular complexity required to enable the speed and precision of vesicle release of neurotransmitters into the synapse. Over the next few segments, we'll go through the presynaptic machinery of chemical release. Let's first take a walk in the shoes of Bernard Katz, the same Katz from the goldman hodgkin cax equation, or GHK equation, that we learned about in the first module of MCB-ADX. Katz's story is a particularly beautiful example of how scientific inquiry can unfold over the course of multiple generations. Katz was an electrophysiologist and biochemist who conducted some of the deceptively simple experiments in the 1950s that were fundamental to our understanding of signal transduction. It starts with an observation. Back in the 1920s, a physiologist named Otto Loewy noticed that he could extract a substance from the nerve near the heart of a frog and squirt that substance on a different beating heart and cause the heart to slow down. This was a landmark discovery proving the existence of neurotransmitters. That is, this change was induced by some molecule or chemical inside the fluid he squirted onto the different heart rather than some intrinsic electrical property. Lovie's discovery of the substance, many years later identified as acetylcholine, set the stage for Bernard Katz to investigate the mechanism of the release of neurotransmitters from tiny structures, microns across, called vesicles. The invention of the electron microscope would eventually reveal these minuscule vesicles. But Katz worked before electron microscopes and advanced molecular biology, before personal computers, and before sophisticated electronics.